hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to show you how you can append new records into an existing delta table so when i am saying new record it means the records which are not already present into the delta table let me explain you with this uh, excel sheet first of all what i am trying to say so let's say i am receiving day one data let's say these 10 records so initially what it should do it should include all these 10 records into your delta table now let's assume the next day the file will come and again you are getting 10 records and all these 10 records are new records right because the driver id is not matching and in my case this is the primary key let's say okay so what it should do it should check the primary key if it is existing in the delta table then it should not include if it is not included or it is not there into the delta table it should append all these new records there could be one more case right as i said since there are all new records it got updated clearly but what if the file is having some previous records or existing records but they are updated okay so when you want to update existing records you can use a merge function with some update condition which i already covered in my previous video but in this video the main agenda is not to touch the existing record which are already present but to append all the new records only as i said okay so i will i want to ignore these records and only add the new records into the my delta table that's what my functionality and this is what i am trying to achieve here okay so i hope now the agenda should be clear what i am actually trying to achieve here okay in this video so let me quickly switch over to databricks workspace now if you see the first command here i am calling one notebook where i am setting up my spn access for adls the second command where i am importing few library which i am, might need in my subsequent queries or commands that and apart from this you see this source data location and target data location in the source data location i have csv file which i will be using as a part of data okay to create these feeds for day one day two day three and uh, i have target location where i will be creating the delta table and if you see currently this target location is empty or you can say it, it doesn't exist at all okay so let's get started quickly first i will do i'll read my uh, sorry i will read my source file okay and i know this is in csv format okay which has a header sorry yeah which has a header so i will say header equal to true and i wanted to infer schema as well and then load the data from the source okay so let's say this is my complete data and let's see the records first as well and how many records we have in this data frame okay so if you see here we have few columns i think seven columns into the data frame and we have 853 records to make it more clear and simple to understand what i will do i will filter the data and i will create certain data frames or multiple data frames okay and i will use those data frames for as in my subsequent uh, feeds okay as an example to load those data frames into the delta table so let's say first i am creating one data frame for day one okay and to create that i will filter the data to filter the data again we have one function filter i hope you are aware if not then this function basically help you to filter the data based on some condition driver id where i want the first 10 records okay where the driver id is less than 10 num, 10 records 10 okay and if you see in data we have this number as in a sequence okay so i will be getting the first 10 records from here and apart from this what i will do i'll create one column as well to store current date time 
ओके टाइम स्टेप दिस इज अ फंक्शन एंड दैट्स इट इट विल गिव मी अ डेटा फ्रेम ऑफ टेन रिकॉर्ड्स विच इंक्लूड अ कॉलम ऑफ करंट टाइम स्टेप ओके फॉर करंट टाइम स्टेप सी नाउ वी आर गुड so let's assume this is our day one data frame data and now our task is to load this data into the delta table or create a delta table based on this data so how to create delta table you can use this data frame then write okay format which format you want delta and then where exactly you wanted to save it so you can see you can pass the location this is my target location i will pass inside it that's it we are good to go let me run this so now our delta table is created let let's see if we have the data into the delta table as well or not okay so i'll say delta table i will create an object of delta table based on this path okay and we can see what kind of data it is currently having okay i missed one parameter oh okay i am creating an object sorry instead of creating an object i need to see like if the delta is present in delta table or not so i i should read it my mistake uh, dot read dot format sorry for the confusion so i'll be reading my data delta table here from location target okay let's say delta records and let's display this so you see all 10 records are updated here right all 10 records are loaded into the delta table now in a similar way i will create data for day 2 okay so now let's say my day two data and this time i will read the id or i will take the records between let's say 10 or 11 and 20 okay rest all will be same done now we have day two data we have delta table as well okay i have to use delta table object from here i cannot directly write it okay otherwise it will overwrite or it will give you an error first of all okay so you cannot use this so once you you are getting day two data what you have to do is you have to create an object of delta table like this way okay and once you have the delta table object you can use one function called merge okay to make it more clear again i will create an alias okay let's say my delta table is my target okay dot merge function okay and then i will store in it i will append sorry day to data okay day to and i will make an alias of this one as well okay let's say this is my source now we need to merge this based on a condition as i have shown you right so we need to pass one condition here condition equal to target dot driver id equal to source dot driver id okay so when this condition is matching okay when both are matching okay what you have to do is you have to use 
I am saying when this condition is not matched, insert all. Okay. So if mean if they are matching, what you have to do? If they are not matching, what you have to do? You are you have all these function available in the merge. So if they are matching, update, update all, delete, right? But if they are not matching, insert all. Okay. You just have to use this function and then you have to use execute, and you are good to go. Let's run this and see. So now in our delta table, we should be getting twenty records, correct? See, one to ten, and then eleven to twenty. Now in a similar way, the third condition, right, which I was talking about, where we are getting some existing records as well. Let's say J three data. Okay, J three data. I'll say, and this time I will say it should be between. 15 or 16 to 25. Now we have some existing as well as some new records. Okay, let's create the data frame. So now we have 16 to 21 day three data frame. Okay, so I will use the same command over here. Okay, it was day two. Now I will say day three, and if it is matching, then you don't have to do anything. If it is not matching, then insert all. Same condition. Okay, let's run this. i have just replaced the data frame and now you will see the total into the delta table so now you can see we have 25 records so it means the rest five records are not updated inside it because they are already existed okay so this is how you can create your delta table and you can keep on appending new records okay So I hope this video will be helpful for you guys thank you thanks for watching this video